Hey there, everyone! The Salgao playing Mega Man 2 and a half. Uh, we finished Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 5 is here. Starman! He just looks like a guy with a starfish on his forehead. He's having fun. Look at that. He's got this big old. Yeah, like his, his sprite design looks a lot fancier, but you just look at his portrait and it's like, oh. But he doesn't have a mouth there. Well, the sky, we saw space, and then we did uh, no gravitate. Whoa, watch out, there's a cannon there. Gonna push you in a pet. Meteor showers going the wrong way. I guess that's okay. Wow, yeah, so there are places where the widescreenness of the game really does go to your advantage. And, okay, so what's up with here? All right, well, that's a, uh, okay, I got that. That was scary. Uh, don't fall in, then that guy can fly. What's up with that? What's with the arrows? Okay, there's like particularly less gravity here. All right, it's important to differentiate your time. This is high gravity, so, you know, we couldn't find Gravity Man, so we asked Starman if he wanted to contribute. So here's just like normal gravity, even though like, it's big and scary and red, and you're like, oh, no, it's red zone, but it's fine, all right? Oh, 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 no, oh, yeah, okay, no. All right, and now it's destroyed the space. Well, look at that, we can see a gameplay tower way over there. Where there's clearly, probably one of the letters. Uh, all right, well, that I've met you. All right, so looks like we've got ourselves a little bit of an elevator action movie. Cause here you go, here you jump, you just jump normally, but here you just keep on going. That's the magic of Blue Zone. All right, here normal jump. Then you hear and you got subnormal jump. Well, more than normal jump. Hyper normal jump. Oh, that fence is broke. Whoa! Snuck up on me. Okay, this looks kind of scary though. Whoa. And then the jump didn't jump. I pressed it. I swear. Well, here I am back in space once again. <laughs> Poor ground bar. This is such an ambush. All right, so. Uh... See, this time, the button buttoned, and I was going alright! I'm not gonna touch that, I don't know if I'm like at the midpoint. I don't know, this big L there that I don't need. Pretty good. Alright, Meteor Alright! They're falling from the sky! Is there a sky in space? There's, they're all like way behind me though. They're not doing a pretty, really great job. Yeah, here's Mega Mac with the super laser. There we go, that was the laser activity of the day. Yeah! Slide on! All right, oh, yeah, wait, man, so you're just like, hi, we put all of Mega Man 5 here. So, ah, we got a shmup now. Whoa, that was scary. All right, can I destroy that? Oh, so that's where that was. All right, so it wasn't a letter. Got it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I should. Just destroying walls in the neighborhood. I'm like kind of fun, but like my bullets are existing somewhere, so I can't have more bullets. Oh, that's scary. Uh, that key, oh, I would love to get it. I just it didn't seem like it was worth it. I think like it'd be very dangerous to get. Uh, you know what? That's whoa! That oh. scary. It's very scary. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what? Okay, I guess I got way more damage than I thought I did. I apologize. Here we go, back on the bike. Yeah, so like, Meteorite takes several bullets, but missiles only take the one. And I feel like there's a lot of instances during this thing where I'm just kind of feel trapped by virtue of like, all my bullets are out, right? So, take that into consideration, watch out about shrapnel, maybe. Lock. So, I can totally get this very easily if I just do that. It's the most risk-free tank in the universe, it turns out. Good. Uh, that's a good thing. Alright, so yeah, these are gonna explode. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go right into a shrapnel. That's the kind of thing I'm into now. Flying into shrapnel. It's so good, you know? What else are you gonna do on a Saturday? Be realistic here. Giant wall! Here we go. Gas station. Hey, we're dead. Uh, we're here now. 
spikes are everywhere. Still. Yeah, that was kind of a scary little spot. Alright. Yeah! Yeah! That's a scary little spot. Accurate! Oh, I'm right here, though. Man. Part of me just wants to, like, take the hit and, like, walk on those spikes. Hey, they're doing that on purpose. Alright, so whoosh! Alright, here we go. We're somewhere. Very purple building, if that's your style of interior decoration. Starman's the place to visit. Like, nice teal walls with dots on them. Looking pretty good. Uh, uh, thanks for the... Okay, okay, and you do restart to shoot eventually. Alright, am I just gonna shoot here infinitely until I hit something? Because that's looking like what it is. There you go. Then I can do a mighty leap and get a tiny dot. Now we're back in space. What are you gonna do about space? Now we're in a different kind of space. Time is not involved. Yes, it is. Time is always there. Whoa, it's a little astronaut, Matt. He's having a lot of fun just flying around. What a little silly guy. All right, there's spikes there, so we're gonna slide. I did that. You sure did. See, when we're at the same level like that, it's pretty simple. Just destroy a guy, shoot him in his little light bulb thing, and it's gonna like, I got shot! Oh, there's spikes in your room, star man. I don't know if you realize that. Oh, your logo is cute. All right, so you were designed in a game. You take a lot of damage from me, actually. In a game where you had a mega buster, something I do not. I, that was meant to be a slice. So I think I'm just gonna take the death and restart. The level isn't that bad. When do I ever get to harm you? Um. Like that, okay. So... No, that was supposed to be a slide! Uh, I guess I didn't down enough. Ugh, annoying. Alright, whatever. This is a chance to get a second E. Look at it that way. Well, I can get that one up. You fool. Oh man, I thought I could walk across. I made a mistake. I don't want to deal with the these jumps, but I guess I don't really have a choice. Okay. I mean, it's only three volleys, I guess. Look, I panic. I pre-panic. Don't pre-panic. If you're gonna panic, panic when it's time. All right, already back. Now I know what your pattern is. So let's see how that goes. Like it's a whole lot of that. Like it's just that. It's just that, you know, okay, well. Can throw. What? Oh, you can throw from the ground? I got, I got. But yeah, like it's a whole lot of this. Except sometimes I do that, that throws me off. So I want to be a distance away. See, if I had gone here with more than zero lives, well, he might still kill me here, but the point is. Probably would have beaten you without game lowering, but it's fine. I forgive you for doing your job. Alright, mighty leap, mighty not very mighty leap. Yeah, the timing there kind of fit. Alright, whoa. Okay, there's no timing, because there you just kind of threw your shill already. Alright, here you go. And that is the power of the star crash. Oh, shoot. Here go. The shield weapon. Oh shoot, yeah, no. I knew it. I could tell there I flubbed it up. I could have used an E-Tank, but I know I can do this without using an E-Tank, so... Here we are, I guess. Whoa! Alright. Do, do, do. Oh, the sound. Oh, I was expecting a uh, fire from there. Yeah, there's a certain amount of randomness allowed to your throwing of your shield. Whoa, see there I thought you were gonna throw it from the ground. I'm not very good at anticipating. See, ugh. There I just, that was reaction, that was not anticipation. I'm not a great playing from reaction type of player. 
most of the time I play from anticipation. Like, I internalize timing and patterns and whatnot. And I just kind of, like, play with that. Just my reflexes are just not that great. Like, that's just the reality of it. This guy... You have to react a lot. It's a really nice, like, back oh, shoot setting, though. I like, got, like, the planet, like, like, with the shadow on it like that. It's pretty cool looking. I love the little, like, shine on your gun barrel when you fire your thing that's not coming out of your gun at all. If you really consider it. Like, you summon forth, like, star-like objects that orbit around you. I don't really understand. I guess that's okay! Here we are in the sky! Mega Man 2.5! Star Crash! What an ugly color, though. What is that? Why is a military olive the color for the Star Crash? Anyways, here's all these me tools. Look at that! You can protect yourself, and then you're okay. That's what a shield weapon does. I'm like one of the only humans out there who genuinely enjoys those sometimes. All right, well, that was Star Zone, man. I should ask ahead of time, people would play this. Like, Wily Fortress would let me save between levels, right? Or am I gonna have to do that in one shot? Like, I hadn't thought about it, but now I'm thinking about it, so I'm asking about it. 